Okay, so I'm first gonna do the Yokuts Trail. This one is only like a quarter mile and it's handicap accessible. As you can see, it's fully paved. So uh, let's get started here. All right, right off the bat, no bikes, no dogs, no uh, cigarettes. I've seen people bring dogs to this trail before though. We'll see. All right, here's some information on the Valley Oak. Here's the contributors to the Oak Grove nature area. Here's some advertisement for their activities. Okay, so I guess this way is the start of the trail, but I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go that way, but that way just goes out to the regular park. And this way, Valley Oaks Woodland. Let's see. For conservation and continued beauty of the park, please stay on trail. Do not handle plants or animals. Okay. Valley Oak Woodlands. Historically, Valley Oak Woodlands. Uh, the last remnants. I find it weird that uh, so on the trail, all of the grass is yellow. And then the grass that's being watered over there are green. <laughs> it's funny. Right, we're coming up on a bend here. This goes into Yokuts Trail or the Miwok Trail. But there's a bunch of Blue Jays here. Well, not a bunch, two of them. <laughs> okay, I think the Yokuts is that way. Or maybe this is just sort of a little, little rest area. Let's go see. Yep, there's a little water fountain. Yeah, this was just a little rest area. Oh, the bird oasis. It's beautiful weather right now. It's about 8 o'clock. <laughs> and it's supposed to be cloudy for the rest of the day, I think. Wildlife. So we used to have grizzly bears in this area as well. so many thorns on these looks like red berries of some kind yeah that would not have been fun to pick and this is the start of the Miwok trail there's a mile and a half although I think that it starts from the parking lot as well yeah. I think this is for the folks that go on to the Yokuts trail and it's like oh, maybe I can go a little further it gets pretty deep in there. I'm, I'm surprised because on the other side are houses. So, and that, that's actually the neighborhood that I live in. Let's see. Beautiful. This is a weird bush. It has really long uh, branches.
This is the same tree, but from a different angle. It's a very nice looking tree. Looks like one of those uh, bonsai plants, but you know, in real full scale version. <laughs> Here's a large expanse. So there's supposed to be um, a resurgence of uh, mountain lions in our area. They're making a comeback and becoming a least concerned animal, I think. But this part should be safe because it's isolated. But I wouldn't doubt. I mean, it would be pretty scary if there was a mountain lion laying in one of these grasses. You probably wouldn't even tell, uh, see it. <laughs> unless you look directly at it. And even then, maybe you would have a hard time. I've seen coyotes here though. The coyotes come from the farmlands in the surrounding area. And I think they come over to eat the, the little ducks or squirrels, whatever they can find here, which are plentiful. Red tail and red shoulder hawks. When you look at these trees, you definitely see see things. You see images of stuff that were were imprinted into your mind. It's weird to have one dead tree out here. Oh no, there's two. Oh no, there's three. Never mind, I was blind. <laughs> bushes in front of me. You would never be able to walk through that. But it looks like something goes in there. Maybe some kind of fox or some kind of coyote. The fallen tree. trail kind of wiggles over there. All right, from this angle, this looks like a big tree wasteland, a graveyard. I don't know, the thing I like about these trees is that the branches kind of hang down in a way that it creates this sort of a bowl on the inside, like a natural hut. <laughs> It's like the tree is sheltering you if you were to stay under there. Getting hugged by a tree instead of being a tree hugger. <laughs> There's an inner angle of that same tree. Like I said, you know, it kind of... At first I thought it looked like it was like manicured or artificially cut in that way. Uh, but it's not. It's, that's just how it grows. The branches come out and then they just fall, 
fall down because it's too heavy. See, they're, they're bending. Then you have like a little house in here. Not a little, a big house <laughs> with branches covering you. Very nice. Oh, these are really cool. You can't really see them on the camera, but they're little purple blossoms. Oh, they would look really nice in the springtime. This whole trail is lined with these these things. Very nice. There's a parking lot over there. You can kind of see it. Yeah. There's people fishing here. I think it costs like five dollars to fish, but you also have to have a fishing license, which I don't have. Thinking about getting one though. Big tree. Wow, this tree has been swissed. Look at all those holes. I think either a woodpecker got it or termites or what have you. This is a, certainly something that can trigger those with tyrophobia, a fear of many holes. <laughs> that really caught my eye. It's a, it's a big dead tree that's fallen over but there's a sliver of white bark or I don't know if that's even a part of that tree it looks like a separate uh, plant or tr separate smaller tree that it landed on <laughs> either way it caught my eye because it's bright all right we're coming towards the end of the Miwok trail it was only a quarter mile but it took me a lot longer because I was trying to get shots of me walking <laughs> and talking. Oh, look at this cluster. It's been overtaken by the grass. Oh, this one has like white blossoms. Or well, it looks like cotton almost. Maybe it's not cotton, but it's very thorny. And it's not just the big ones, it's the tiny needle-like thorns. And back there, there were like entire bunches of it. So I would not want to fall into <laughs> these plants at all. Oh, there's a yellow blossoming plant back there. It's nice. Oh, look at that minty green looking one. There's patches of them. Right, this is the end of the trail. I see the, the parking lot back there. Let's go. Two more minutes. Oh, not even two. Probably 30 seconds. Let's get there. All right, uh, we're back at the end. Those restrooms. I'm gonna make a stop there and then I'll go try and go and do the, uh, the Yoka Trail. Oh no, no, I'm sorry. This is the Yoka Trail, the, the quarter mile. And then the Miwok Trail is the one and a half mile. Let's see. Yep, that was the Yoka Trail. Um, I'm gonna run to the restroom and then I'm gonna try the Miwok Trail, which is a mile and a half. Uh, thank you so much for watching and have a good day.